We're taking on the challenge of staying connected in today's app chat. Independent e-business consultant Francie Black is here with a way for us to keep the communication lines open between all of our technology. And boy, I don't know about you, but it's a growing thing. It's like the trouble with tribbles. Yes, that was a Star Trek reference. <laughs> very good, very good, very good. Yeah, so what we're talking about today is how do you stay connected on the go, maybe going on spring break this week or next, True. summer vacation. You got a long drive, you got kids in the car, you've got your game devices, your phones, oh, you got yeah. your I got the tablet. Sent, you got your tablet, you got your laptop, and you want to be connected. Right. So how do you do it? Well, there's a couple of options that you can do. We're going to talk about phone tethering and then we're going to compare it to having a dedicated mobile hotspot. Okay. All right. So what phone tethering does it's actually just available just about on any smartphone. Okay? okay. And it's just an option in settings somewhere and then you can say set up a personal hotspot now. You have to turn this on through your carrier, and of course, there's data rates that apply, of course. Of course. But it is available, and what it allows it to do is to allow multiple devices to connect through your mobile phone and get a cellular internet connection. Very convenient. Very convenient. Now, that versus a dedicated hotspot, and the one that I have here oh, it's is... It's like this size? That's, this is it, right here. Hmm. Okay. So that's the AT&T Unite Pro by Netgear. This is fabulous. I've been testing it out, and it's a dedicated Tether, well, you don't call it tethering, it's a hot spot. It becomes your own wireless network. How neat is that? Really cool. And the way that it works is you have all of your devices, no matter how many you have. They, this goes up to 15, wow. whereas the phone only goes to about four or five. Mm -hmm. It creates a really strong wireless signal. They connect through Wi Fi to the device. It has a cellular plan to it, and you can connect to the internet. It's literally like having your own personal network so all your kids can That's connect great. your business acquaintances can connect whatever it is and of course it has a password to get on now how do these compare why yeah. would you do one versus the other oh look at this all right so for phone tethering the, the biggest convenient uh, the biggest advantage of this is that it's convenient because it's in your pocket you can turn it on by just touching it with your thumb or your finger but there are some cons to it it drains the battery mm. life of your phone your calls can get dropped depending on your service and your plan and so forth. You have a limited number of connections, three uh -huh. to five typically, and it also can reduce your connection speed. So if you're trying to use it to do your work or emails or whatever oh. it is, other people are tapped into it. You're kind of thinning out the resource there instead of gaining a whole new resource. That's exactly right. And that's what the hotspot does okay. in the, the AT&T Unite Pro. So what it does is it offers you that ultimate flexibility because it's a dedicated device. So you can walk out of the room with your phone and everybody else can still be connected. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. I like it. Um, it has a much longer battery life, 10 to 14 hours, which wow. is fabulous, up to 15 connections, and you get a strong, connect, consistent connection. That's what it's designed to do. Okay. And you also get a stronger Wi-Fi signal. Now, you do have an extra device, so that's the con, so you got to keep up with it. So you've got to carry that with you, sure, sure. Now, one other fabulous thing that I really like about this particular device is that because it has a strong battery life, this actually acts as a charger for your mobile phone. So you're out camping, uh huh. your phone's dying, you're losing battery power, people are connecting through your net gear. You can actually connect to this and actually charge your phone. That's fantastic. It's fabulous. So that's what that extra long battery life is about. Okay. Well, how does pricing play out? Sure. Okay. You have to pay for your data. That, you know, they're not going to let us have that for free. <laughs> so whether you're tethering or you're using the dedicated device, very rough plans vary greatly right. depending on what you need very roughly twenty dollars per two gigs of data you do have to have a contract one thing you should know about phone tethering a pro is that if you have a data share plan already tethering mm -hmm. may already have it included and for okay. this you have your phone plan and of course you have to have your data plan for this so much information and she goes into great detail for you so what you need to do is go to her website wlos.com and click on tech time and that's where you'll find a link to the app chats that we have done and you'll also find out how you can sign up to get francie's e-newsletter